what is up welcome back in today's video we are going to do task 7 which is day 2 from Advent of Cyber 1 task 7 is around um, accessing the web page at this address okay in this page we're required to find a hidden directory okay and after finding the hidden directory we're required to find a password this password is supposed to be somewhere after we find the hidden directory and we have to answer this question. So this challenge is about um, directory search and a bit of enumeration. Uh, the enumeration here is not actually enumeration. It's all just you have to look at the, uh, do some research and you will find the answer. So this, is, this task will be very easy. If you are a guru, this is not for you. Okay, so let's see here. So. Don't forget to deploy the machine and access the URL at the 3000 port. So once we access, we see the architect forum. We're required to gain access to the admin panel. The same way we did in the last video. In the last video, we manipulated and the cookie by understanding how the application generating the cookie. Uh, so here we have to gain access to the admin login some way by finding a hidden directory and the password. So. This is, an admin, this is the directory, actually. Let me remove that. Once you access the URL, you, you will see this regular ELF login. So here, you will want to gain admin access. So what we're going to do, we're going to launch directory search. Robuster dash u. Take this, don't put the login, all right? Just take the URL, including the port and the IP address. Oh, what's that? The word list. I'm gonna use common. Unknown shorthand, dash u. So dash u, ah, we have to, to type here the, specify what we're looking for. We're looking to find the hidden directories, so that dir. So we have one, sysadmin, which is the actual URL we're looking for. So once you access the sysadmin, you will see here the admin login interface. So here, if you are the admin, you would put your email and password and you log in. Now, if you're not admin, you have to find the admin credentials. So we click on view page source. So here, as you can see, there is a note down here saying admin portal created by architect digital design. Check out our GitHub repo. This is a typical CTF note or CTF hint you would find in CTF, um, uh, CTF you know, scenarios. So basically here, it is a hint to go to the architect digital design GitHub. So if we take this and go there, So here is the GitHub link. And I bet, guys, if you see this note, if you're doing pen testing for your clients or if you are in an engagement and you see this kind of note in an application, right, it's, it's not going to cross, cross your mind to just try to Google the uh, company and visit their GitHub, right? But you see it's kind of typical note. It doesn't necessarily... Uh, hint to anything of importance, right? But since this is CTF, we give every note, uh, you know, a, skept a skeptical outlook. So we want to find everything out of everything. So basically, here, if you go to the GitHub, you will see basic default username and password. 
And some of you guys will tell me, yeah, you're not going to encounter this in your case, pen testing, you know. But I bet, guys, you will find some of these scenarios in real life. Why? The first thing is many websites or many developers would put these kind of notes at the end of their uh, source code. Just to say that this is their website, this is a signature. Now, and if this login interface or the, if this web application is running some kind of software, right, this software does have default credentials, okay? Now, these default credentials, right, could be found anywhere, not necessarily on GitHub, or not necessarily from the note you would find here. But just researching, right, we found default credentials. Now, even the existence of the default credentials in the GitHub here um, could indicate some kind of, um, you know, or could make you think of trying these credentials to access the admin panel if the sysadmin here just changed the default credentials, right? You wouldn't have uh, been able to access the web application, right? Even if there is default credential here at the application the company is using, but if they change the default credentials, these will not work. So the problem here is, or the, the, the thing is here is, the problem is not in the notes or not in the default credentials written or the plain text credentials written in the GitHub link. The problem is the default credentials were left without changing. So we take this. So I would say this is default credentials challenge or security misconfiguration challenge. Submit. So you are given access to the web application. And by the way, sometimes you have a target to test, right? Sometimes you would get access to the target you are testing by getting access to another vulnerable um, host, not on your target list. But this host happens to be in the chain that would lead you to your target. So maybe you get access to some application like that. It's not important. It doesn't signify any a meaningfulness in your uh, testing, but this would lead you to other uh, details that would um, help you in your testing. So this could be like mediary, right? Something like that. So here, let's see what we're required to do. Let's see, try hack me answers. What is the path of the hidden page? So sys admin. What is the password you found? The password is default password. What do you have to take to the party? Let's see here. So this is the admin page. We should have all of the info we're looking for. Prep for Christmas hail. Please don't forget to P Y O E. Bring your own eggnog to the part for the party. So we're supposed to bring the eggnog. Okay, that's it. So day two was about leaving your applications with default credentials, bad practice. Architect forum, the inventory management we saw yesterday was about um, vulnerable mechanism in generating the cookies. So the application we encountered yesterday was generating a predictable pattern of cookies so that we were able to uh, craft our own cookie and get access to the admin account. That's the problem, which is something fun, actually cool, as a challenge. This is kind of typical. We encountered this many times, default credentials. All right, so next video will be on to Evil Elf. All right, that's it.